Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. So we just picked up our new companion, Kate, from the combat zone. She doesn't really look like she's dressed for combat, but from what we've, from what we know, she is a junkie and she used to fight in a pit for money against raiders. Speaking of raiders, are these guys? All right, somebody's coming up from the other side. Those are mannequins. <laughs> uh, boy, it's not the first time freaking mannequins have thrown me off. All right, we'll sneak past these just for the sake of time. Kind of psycho over there. We've actually got kind of a long way to go. Let's see. Well, actually, not that. Yeah, I thought it was further. Oh, jeez. Yuck. Go away. Sake. Off me. Things are nasty. Nasty, you know that? Nasty. Come on, you stupid bastards. Come on. Alright, she is using a shotgun, that's good. I was worried she might only use melee. Got an oven mitt, and uh, whatchamacallit. Military duct tape. Okay. Gosh, ghouls are freaking gross. Oh, you startled me. The Diamond City is nothing. <laughs> me, my boys, the wall, and a few turrets can't handle. Okay. Oh, Abbott at the wall. This is about. This is something about helping Diamond City with whatnot. Not sure if I actually want to do this. And also, why? Aren't I like almost on top of it? Why isn't it showing up on the. Oh. That's weird. It looks like I'm there, but. No. Up? Oh. No, it looks like I'm getting closer, so. Okay, I think this is a Diamond City patrolman. Here the different raider groups are carving up Concord like Christmas. I think this is just taking me back to Diamond City. I don't know what. Yeah. Well, probably not really that interested in doing that quest anyway, to be totally honest. Creedy and the detective quest. I think those were all kind of in the same area. Yeah, the detective cases. Oh, some of them... Oh, I see, that was a good neighbor. Let's see if we can do the detective cases. Welcome to the episode of Getting Lost <laughs> in the freaking common. I 
Not going through there. It sounds like you're humming right in my ear, but you're like several yards behind me, so that's really freaky. <laughs> Apparently we're going in a circle here. It's actually pretty typical for me. But let's see if we can't go... Oh, milk vending machine, yuck. Um, I just imagine like Move old along. crusty milk all gummed up in the thing. <laughs> yuck. Ugh. Okay, now we're getting some lag. That's fucking great. I just love freaking lag in my video games. That's why I play goddamn PC games where you can't afford to replace the parts every year or two. But you need to if you want to keep playing the good games. Well, that was spiffy, dude. Well, you made that look like child's play. I know, right? Okay, apparently I was stealing from the security, didn't really realize that. Although it, do it wasn't specified as stealing. So I guess it was okay. Mm. The detective cases. Maybe, oh, this might be something that's inside Diamond City? I can't... I honestly can't tell. It might be something I was supposed to do with Nick, too. Yeah, we're getting... Oh, we're getting closer to the entrance to Diamond City. Yeah, I think it's something we're supposed to do inside the city. back here. I think uh, we might actually head out depending on what these detective cases are, we might actually head out to help the different settlements again and look into that water problem because I know there were some super mutants uh, uh, involved in that but... If we're looking for some action, I'm betting we'll find it here. Yeah. Um, I think we can take, s take the super mutants now. I think we're powerful enough. We got some explosives in reserve. We could do it. Okay, yeah, the detective case is just to go to his agency and check out what's going on. I don't know if he would like it if we did it without him, but always a trail to be followed. All right, Earl Sterling's disappearance, client Vadim Bobrov. Another disappearing act to unravel, er Earl Sterling, 25-year-old bartender at the Dugout Inn. One of the owners, Vadim, Bor Bob Vadim Bobrov, noticed that Earl hadn't been into work for a few days. All right, so next. Security was called in. No investigation, of course. The institute took him is the unofficial word about town, like always. Vadim came into my office, half drunk with a sob story about how he and Earl went way back, and that he just can't believe that Earl would get snatched up by the boogeyman. My gut says he's right. Earl didn't have any enemies, at least none with motive enough to kill the guy. Not living with anyone either, so I'll have to see if Vadim or someone else at the dugout has his keys. I'd rather not have to explain to security why I was picking the lock on Earl's door if I slip up and get caught in the act. The Earl Sterling All right, case. Take that. Apparently Earl just up and disappeared one day. No one's seen him since. Just go ahead and a lit cigarette. Wow. It's amazing that can stay lit. Were you smoking that? I guess she must have been. Alright, Robco Fun. Hell yeah. Let's grab that. Includes the Zeta Invaders holotape game. Is that something I can play? Ooh. 
Ooh, I think it is. <laughs> it unlocked an achievement apparently too. Start game. Oh. Oh. How do I shoot? E R click. Oh, this is annoying. I can't actually shoot at them. Oh, spacebar. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're we're. This is gonna be. Let's play Zeta Invaders now. Apparently. funny because I oh, no. um, I probably pressed every button but spacebar when I was trying to <laughs> oh, shoot I shouldn't be shooting my cover you guys grew up playing games like this you'd probably be around my age because I think if you're if you're much younger you probably had something a little more entertaining well not necessarily but oh bogus all right replay let's just play one more game of this now that I know I know what I'm doing yeah if you're a, any younger than me you probably had something a little more flashy a little more graphic intensive and although most mobile games are still on the simple uh, principles like this I can't believe I d took me this long to find that hollow tape Moved over a little bit too much. Fudge. There's probably another weight. Oh. Apparently, that's my my high score. All right, so let's um quit. Yeah, we'll play again later. Oh. Oh. I kept selecting no. It, like, subconsciously, I want to keep playing. Um, I'll probably do that on my own time, though. Unless you guys really want me to do an episode where I, I only play Zeta Invaders. You know, I always got the sense Earl was interested in me. Figures he'd be the one to run off. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'll find him. I thought there was another case in here. I guess not. What are you doing, Kate? You just went into the guy's bedroom? You're weird. Alright, let's go investigate the Earl case. This actually sounds pretty fun. I think Nick would be proud. Doing his job for him and he's not even here. Dad says not to talk to strangers. Okay. Well, you just talked to me. I don't know if you're aware of that, but... I guess maybe you don't give oh, a fuck about his wow. rules. You're tall. All right, where is the... Am I even tracking this quest? The Disappearing Act. Obtain the key to Earl Sterling's house. Or just... Only a Diamond City or we could just go to his house. Let's see. Like trouble. Make sure she's not. Home play. No we way to pick this. Okay. Heard you rescued Valentine. Good work. All right, here's the dugout in. This is where Earl worked. 
Go ahead and see what old Earl A was up to. Redeem, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yetim. I am in middle of story. So then, I am crossing rivers, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk! A mire lurk? Come <laughs> on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Redeem! <sighs> I forgot you were there, Yefim. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. You'll get used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> See this bar? I killed okay. a man for it. <laughs> uh... No, no. I kid. I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Are you, like, a stereotypical... A Russian type. Um, let's see, I'm actually here to talk about Earl Sterling. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. Oh, you with boy. Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. I got a bar to run. Let me know if you want something. All right. Uh, not interested not right now. That's too bad. I maybe should question him a little more. I don't really... Th huh? Yeah. Let's go search Earl's house. I don't really think that guy's responsible. I don't know why... Well, we have no idea of a motive yet. There could be one. All right, Earl Sterling's house key. Unlock that. Oh. Butt's falling asleep. Is that what <laughs> I get... I don't record all that often because sitting down for an extended time is not easy for me to do. All right, we got Nuka-Cola, Tato... Stimpaks. I mean, for all we know, this guy's dead, so we can take his stuff, right? That's no no problem. Bunch of Gwinnett Brew. You could grab the Gwinnett brew, brew if you want. Jeez, Kate, you sure do sit down a lot. You sit down first chair you see, no matter where we are. <laughs> Alright, so far not really any clues in here. Upstairs, yeah, nothing. Got a military cap, cryo mine. Well, uh, not much to go on in from in here. Looks like he uh, liked to drink and smoke, and he had some furniture. I, I don't know. <laughs> What else to say? Um, let's go back outside. We are not very good detectives, Kate and I. Nick seemed to have the game down pretty well, but I don't know about us. Let's see. Search Earl Sterling's house for clues. Well... I don't we must have missed something. There must be a clue in here. Duct tape. Leave that junk behind. You're just wasting space. No, I'm actually trying to build a community. Um it's called uh community building. Maybe if you did it you would be such a less of a uh you know what? You would be a more agreeable person if you were a little bit nicer. Uh, I don't see any clues in here. Under the bed? I don't know why it would be hard to find. There's a military cap. Maybe he went off to join the army. <laughs> Uh, toolbox, a coffee cup, 
radio. Yeah, there's just like nothing here. Anything in the garbage? No. Papers don't mean anything. Granite logger. Yeah, nothing here, really. Maybe I need Nick with me to do this quest? I, I don't know. This is weird. Because it's like I'm supposed to find something in here and either I am just glossing over it or it's not here. There's like cigarettes, okay. Doesn't look super interesting about those. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what to be getting at with that. Alright, wasn't there another place I was supposed to... Search Earl's house for clues. Oh, Dr. Bobby. Okay, it was just search Earl's house for clues. Yeah, I might need Nick with me. I'm not sure. Pretty much the two worst detectives on the planet, I guess. <laughs> me and Kate. Um, is there like a way to... Are there two entrance to entrances to his house, maybe? No. I must be missing not something. I'm just not sure what. Is that a real vault suit? Yes, Damn. it's a real vault suit. Is this part of his house? No, it's a warehouse. His mailbox is empty. Alright, well, I guess I'm just not good enough. Looks like Edie Ed. Edie Ed Head. That's a shout out to Briar's Briarstone, another YouTuber has done a Fallout New Vegas let's play. That's what he called the the Edie companion. E D E. Alright. So, I'm not sure what to do next. Let's see. There's a lot of places I haven't been in Diamond City, like hey, this. Falcons. I think those brothers are looking haven't been in there. Oh, talk to the Bovra brothers. We could do that if we wanted to. I think Falcons is a store. Okay, no, that's the basement. Alright, I thought maybe that was a bar. Um... I guess I'll talk to the Bobrov brother brothers. Where do I go to do that? Over here. I'm not sure what I'm. Oh, I go to the dugout in. How convenient. I'm not sure what I'm talking to the Bob Rob brothers about, but guess we'll find out. Oh, here we go. Quiet, Diffie. All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City. I might have to talk to what's his face again yes? because it makes you want to cut your own ears off. Okay, I pretty much got nothing out of the uh away. But out of a let's see, resident. Promise, you come talk to me. Confidence man. Apparently he has jobs for us. I don't know where the freaking Bodrov brothers are. Just wander around in here. <laughs> While Kate finds a chair, of course. Classic Kate. Oh, there's one of them. Okay. Of course, he's right in front of me. Oh, I, I think... 
Hey, Yefim. Tell me if you need a room. Otherwise, the bar is over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I must be very tired. These are the same two people who own the inn. Um, let's ask him about Earl Sterling. Did you know Earl Sterling? One of my brother's old friends. Oh boy. The way those two would go on about girls, you'd think Vadim is loud now. Earl was a horrible womanizer, and I warned him more than once to leave the staff and customers alone. But my hmm. brother always stood up for him. Honestly, kind of glad he's gone. Wouldn't shut up about the new face he was going to get at the mega surgery center. Vain till the end. Anyway, did you want a room? No, um... Not right Not now. Not interested. Have a good Just, day. Just, uh... What's the opposite of what his brother told us? Wow, I can't believe I was like, I don't know who those people are. I don't know why we're having a time living in the city. Freaking... Saves one or two people and everyone forgets. Gosh. It's a freaking sin. Okay. God, even the sky isn't safe. Did you see I'm that ridiculous. The uh, you all Steve know that. Okay, so well, he said that... You off yet. Need a room? That his brother didn't... Or that his brother said that Earl didn't do well with women, and... Yassim said he's a womanizer. So that's interesting. Okay, I keep getting lost in here. And I don't know where the the main the owner went. No. Where did your brother go? In here? Why are the rooms labeled one, two, and three when they're like not one's an office, one's a whatever? <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, this is fancy. Jet. Why do you and if him's terminal? The wall? No. What are they doing? Probably want to leave Where that alone for them? now. Hey, hey, keep your voice down. Okay. All right, here's Let Vadim. Let's get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. Okay, um, I haven't actually I agreed, haven't agreed to help to yet. anything yet. Let's not go patting ourselves on the back. Okay, okay, but listen. Travis would get great confidence from winning bar fight, yes? <laughs> You've been in fair share of them, I can tell. Well, yeah, I mean, I hold my own in I can fight. hold my own, if that's what you mean. It's true. I've seen it with my own eyes. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Uh, how does that work? I'm, I'm not the one fighting him. How I? would something like that even work? It makes sense. I promise. I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple. I don't really... Right? Yes, I, I want some money for if this. the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. All right, fine. You get cut as nice. well. 100 cops. Oh, should we ask for more? It's 100 caps. Yeah, why involve, why involve me anyway? Me in this? You have seen Travis, yes? <laughs> he cannot fight alone. Not even fake one. He needs help. You can help him. I have everything ready by 6 o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. Okay. All right, meet Travis in the dugout after 6 p.m. What time is it now? It is 3.21 a.m. Okay. So we could actually get a room here and sleep for a while, which I might do. Um. Hi there. You can order drinks and food here. Or Let's actually see if I can ask him anything else about... Hey, Vadim. Drinks! 
The finest liquor moonshiners can brew right here. Ask him anything else about Earl? So, I don't know. This your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, I don't, don't want anything any today. Beer Go right now. Let's see. What's with you? I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Huh? It's been about 30 minutes. <laughs> Um, we'll go ahead and sort of sit down on this couch. And when we come back, we'll probably continue trying to find clues about Earl. Because we're going to at least hang around here. Dude, you're making me uncomfortable the way you're staring at me. Thanks. So yeah, we'll probably hang out here for a while. Um, in Diamond City, at least. Until this fight we have to stage. And then we'll probably move on after that. Unless things get really interesting well anyway i hope you're enjoying the game and i'll see you next time